I'm going home in two days. Hi, welcome back to the vlog, everybody. It's been a long time since you fell in love. Hi, welcome back to the vlog. I think my camera is kind of dirty because I've literally had it in the corner of my room on the floor for so long. What can I use to wipe you guys off? Honestly, it looks the same. I took a little break from vlogging because I don't know, I kind of just needed one after my exam. I felt like I still needed some time to rest and decompress. And now I'm back and recharged. I'm going to Jamaica in two days. And I'm so excited. I haven't been home in such a long time. But I'm also super anxious, just very nervous, honestly, because I don't keep up with half the people I used to keep up with when I used to go home regularly. So it almost just feels like most of the people there aren't really my friends. And when people aren't your friends, they'll have more room to perceive you because they don't know a lot about you. So when they see things, they connect it with what they do know about you and like try to make assumptions. And I don't know, we'll get into that a bit later on, but I'm going home in two days. I'm going home in two days and I'm very excited. Um, I hate that the vlog has to be like this, but we're going to be doing a lot of hauls in this vlog, a lot of vacation prep because... <laughs> I've also haven't been shopping much in the past couple months. I've been focusing on all the trips I'm going on and paying for that. And yeah, I haven't really gotten to buy myself stuff. So I've been buying myself stuff and it's really nice. So do we want to do a little Sephora haul? Um, I got a lot of skincare products and I'm trying to get some makeup stuff to be a makeup girly because 2023 is coming up and I want to be a little bad B, you know? Um, Anyways, let me unbox everything and show you guys. WTF, I got. I didn't want to like hold up each item and walk through it because let's be real, I don't really know much. I just bought rec based on recommendations I've gotten from people I know and like things I see online. So my friend, let me start with the gifts. So this is a gift for my friend. I went to Curacao with her. I didn't get her a birthday gift. So this is like a birthday gift and a Christmas gift. I actually got this for myself and when I was showing my friend Ciara who this is for, this is the Fenty concealer. Um, when I showed her everything I bought, she was like, oh, tell me how you like that perfume. And then I was like, do you want it? Like, I'll give it to you and I'll just buy myself one when I come back. Um, so yeah, that was cute. Cause I also wanted to get her like a second gift. So gift, get her like a second gift. So here we go, it's fine. So that's her gift and that's Janelle's gift and then for myself these are samples I think they're like serums so I'm just probably gonna give each of them one because I'm not gonna use that this is a concealer it's the same concealer that I bought for myself because I needed a new concealer so I was like okay why not try that this is a setting spray I usually use the Urban Decay one but I was like let's just try something new I'll talk about that soon I got a new primer rare beauty blush because i just wanted to try something new this is a contour stick in truffle from fenty i don't even know if it's focusing who cares uh who cares makeup then skincare products high high <laughs> hyaluronic acid niacinamide and rose hip seed oil so i'm actually working today it's a wednesday by the way it's wednesday the 21st and yeah work has been really chill um end of the year like there's not much crazy going on but i've just been having a couple meetings in prep for how busy it's gonna be when i come back in january which is like exciting because i also had my performance review today and i got good positive feedback and i really need to work on my confidence with my job because even like with the wording of like my assessment my manager is like don't say like i think i've improved like just say you've i've improved you know just stuff like that and it's just crazy how people believe in you more than you like why is my manager the one telling me no like you're good like you're fine when i should know i'm good and fine you know but that's not anything really new for me that's stuff i've always been trying to work on um so yeah anyways so i got some work stuff to do today i went to the gym i've been very consistent with the gym and it's been great trinidad's gonna see me in february and be like yes girl come through because yeah you know half naked on the road so gonna you know put some effort into making sure we look good plus like honestly getting older i've also started to just like care about 
taking care of myself and my body and like making sure I can live to 100 because my goal is to die at one <laughs> well not die at 103 but live until 103 um but yeah anyways welcome back guys i miss you so much if i'm not talking with any focus it's just because like you know when you see a friend for the first time in a long time and you're just kind of all over the place because there's so much you can tell them <sighs> that's how i feel with you guys and that's how i'm gonna feel when i go home like especially a lot of my close friends i haven't talked to them like deep deep details of my life in like years because they don't live in canada they don't know like my canadian life so a lot of them don't even know like about my dating life or anything like they'll know but they don't know so i feel like it's just gonna be a big catch-up and i'm excited i'm excited to see like my really close friends back home but i'm like nervous and anxious to see like the friends that are like medium tier friends because yeah i'm not that close with them i don't necessarily need to tell them my business um but it's just like i don't know i don't know what's up Oops, welcome back to the pod. We're feeling chatty right now. To get you guys familiar with the setting, it is December 21st. It's a Wednesday, it's 2 p.m. I'm making, I'm not making, I'm putting some food in a plate. I made pasta at the start of the week and I think this is like the third or fourth day of me eating the same leftovers. So I'm kind of starting to get over it and I think my mom stopped eating it. So I literally just have to be eating this whole thing and I'm bored of it, but I don't want to waste food. Plus this is healthy because I put a lot of veggies in there. Anyways, I realized that today is the winter solstice, you know, the shortest day of the year, which is such a good thing because it just kind of means that four o'clock, I was looking to see what time it is. Um, it just means that from now on the days are gonna get longer, but you know what's so interesting? I'm pretty sure when I just moved to Canada. It used to be really dark at this time like Yesterday, I think I went to the gym at 5 and it was still there was light in the sky like it wasn't bright but there was light in the sky and from my Memory, I'm pretty sure it used to get really dark at like 4 o'clock like 4 30 dark so like obviously i know the global warming thing affects the fact that like it was hot af in november <laughs> but like does that affect this like i know i sound really ignorant right now or dumb but like why is it so bright and is it actually so bright or am i just thinking this is a real question <laughs> Okay, so for the rest of the night, I'm going to continue cleaning up my room and keep with the packing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I was going to do my eyebrows and like wax my brows and my upper lip. But then I forgot that I needed to do a pedicure. So I'm like, all right, I'll do all of that tomorrow because I don't want to do a pedicure right now. I'm just not in the mood to sit for an hour. And yeah, I'd rather just get stuff done and just chill. Because, yeah, <laughs> I'm so happy I went to the gym earlier because now I don't feel like I have to leave my house. Because, yeah, it's 4 o'clock. I would have been going up there now. By the time I come back, it would be 6, a.k.a. bedtime. Ooh, also, I started watching Dairy Girls on Netflix, and I wanted to give a recommendation. Guys, in this, like, time that I haven't been vlogging, I also have not been watching a lot of YouTube. And I used to consume YouTube like it was my TV, so I barely watch TV shows. But I've watched so many shows because I've been off YouTube and I kind of want to give some recommendations. So, one, Industry on HBO or Crave if you're in Canada. Um, Sex Lives of College Girls also on HBO slash Crave. Uh, what was the thing that I literally downloaded Crave for? Oh, I also watched White Lotus. I think I downloaded it for Sex Lives. So yeah, White Lotus, Sex Lives, Industry. And then I started Dairy Girls. I also watched ABBA Elementary, which is on Disney Plus. Waiting for season two to get on Disney Plus, but I know it's released in the States, so. And then I've watched, I've caught up on Grey's again. <laughs> so there's that. 
and yeah i'm looking for a new serious show so if you have recommendations let me know because i'm almost done industry and i'm gonna need something serious after that yes sir we outside <laughs> Um, I got a new mug for my company and I'm gonna use it today for the first time. Oh my gosh, okay. Yesterday, I actually put the mug right here and my mom moved it up here, which is her passive aggressive way of saying, this is my spot. Cause this is mine, this is hers. And I had both my cups here. So she was like, know your place. Anyways. If my outfit looks weird, it's cause I'm packing right now. Today is gonna be. I should wash this because I've never used it before. Hello. What? You bring the girl a gift? Did you bring the gift with you? The gift. Did you bring it with you? The gift. The gift for the girl? Do you have it with you? Oh, okay. What's up? Why are you call? Do you miss me? Hello? Why are you not saying nothing? You call me and you're quiet. You love me, your teeth? Bring back my things. Bring back my earring. <laughs> you you can't come here, but you love me and you're stealing my things. You're not forgiven. It, I hid it because it's my, oh, the gold. Yes, and I, I was like, why is it in her room? That's why I can't find my things. And I'm always late, so when I'm ready, I'm looking for the things in the place I put them and I cannot find it because you're a thief. <laughs> you're a thief. I want my earrings. I need it for Jamaica. Oh, now you have to go. Thief. For don't forget it. Uh, okay, guys. So, yeah, today's going to be a busy day. Um... I want a really good coffee today, so let's do two sugars because we're feeling good. Um, I think I'm going to have to skip the gym because I need to finish packing, which is something arguably I can do later. Like, I don't have to do this right now, but yeah, I really don't have to do this right now. But I also need to go into my eyebrows. I need to like wax my brows, wax my upper lip. The pedicure. You see what I'm talking about? I can do work while I'm getting the pedicure though. So I might just bring my laptop with me. Or I might go on my lunch. Even at this point though, I shouldn't even deserve a lunch. Because I just started work a while ago at 9.30. But I'm gonna have to work late because there's something my boss asked me to do between yesterday and today. And I didn't really get to work on it yesterday. So I'm gonna have to deal with it today. Today's just gonna be crazy. So yeah, to-do list, eyebrows, wax, maybe gym if I can like find a way to work it in the schedule. But I need to wash my hair, so like priorities. My hair appointment is at 4 45. And then I need to pack and do all the other planning stuff. Let's see if this tastes good. Yeah, good enough. It's probably the best coffee I've made for myself in a while. So I cleaned up my room yesterday. Um, you guys may not really know if it's clean or not because I didn't show you what it looked like before because it was that bad. But basically, I just had a lot of boxes in here and like stuff all over the room. So I broke down all the boxes, brought them in the garage. This is just my suitcase. I started packing. I am trying to figure out how many pairs of jeans I need to take with me. Not trying to figure out, trying to pick which I should take. Like, so these are like long shorts, these are short shorts, these are jeans or pants or whatever. I don't need this, this much, I do not need this, oh my gosh! I don't need this much clothes for 10 days in Jamaica, but I just can't decide because you never know what you're going to go to. So, yeah. So, oh shit, I should have brought my laptop up here. I'm going to work. I'm going to passively work and pack. Actually, let me take an hour and just do some straight work. So I should go downstairs for that because I need a double screen. Why did I come up here? Um, yeah, I'm going to go do some work and then see. Because I need to at least make progress or see what I need to do so I can decide how much time I'm going to need to do that. And then, yeah. I need my phone. 
fun 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 day guys but i love it i don't know i'm in a really good mood i'm excited to go home and still anxious but like still excited i made a podcast episode yesterday talking about like how anxious i was to go home and honestly since i made it it kind of made me feel relieved a bit and i think it's because when i do the podcast episodes it's like i share that feeling i put it out in the world so it's like it's kind of released almost i don't know anyways peace out for now because i know this is gonna be my last proper workout um before i go on my trip i'm gonna push and go to the gym so i'm in my little gym fit it's actually kind of cute but <laughs> let me show you hold on so the back is like this and then the front is just like a regular top i always get so nervous like showing skin at the gym especially because like i don't know like all the young people show up naked but all the old people are covered <laughs> and i just like i don't feel like i'm being modest when i'm just like even though it's just like my bag you know i don't know so i just wear my sweatshirt over it sometimes i'll take the sweatshirt off but yeah anyways i'm gonna go to the gym and i'll maybe record a one two clips but guys look at these pants i'm about to leave to go get my hair done um i just washed and blow dried it and yeah but i wanted to show you guys the pants i got them from garage i will link that can the lighting not be so yellow ew ew anyways i got them from garage so i'll link them down below um if it helps i like because the whole issue with me like why this is like a good thing for me is because it's hard to find pants like this because for that fit me because i have a like bigger hip size and then smaller waist size even though these are kind of low rise so maybe that's why they fit well because i don't know whatever but i am a size what's my hip size i think my hips are like 41 and then my waist is like 27 i think something like that i'll put it in the description if i like when if i go back and measure myself but yeah they kind of still are big on the waist so i just kind of pull them down so they're super low rise and that they fit sit on my hips ish and you can wear a belt obviously but i don't really have belts that go well with this style and then this is just a random top from tala and yeah um yeah so anyways i'm gonna go do my hair but i wanted to show you the pants It's 7 a.m. The lighting is shit. Come on. Whatever. Anyways, my flight got cancelled and I'm pissed. I'm annoyed because, like, I found out yesterday while I was at my hair appointment. Um, because I went to, like, go and check in because I was kind of freaking out that I hadn't checked in yet because I needed my passport and I just, I didn't have my passport with me at the time. And I was like, shit, like, I'm not going to get a good seat and all of that stuff and then I get an email when I went to check about the whole check-in thing that the flight got cancelled because there's like a, a blizzard today in Canada um and today's Friday for context they the only available flight or the next available flight was gonna be on Wednesday which was just dumb to me because like if I went on Wednesday I would still have to come back by Sunday like, I could have talked to my manager to try and see if they'd let me work remotely in Jamaica, but I already know that they don't really like, like, they prefer, if you're gonna work remotely, they prefer it be, like, the States or, like, certain European countries, like, not Jamaica. Um, yeah, so, stress, sad. I'm gonna call Swoop later today to get my money back, but this kind of just feels very underwhelming, you know, like, it's almost like too i'm like bro it's like i got myself all anxious for no reason so i'm just kind of like this is just not the vibe i'm very disappointed but on a more positive note because we're not gonna sit here and ball about it um my friends when i told some of my friends that live up here they're like you know kings sorry but like do you want to do this so how about this so i'm gonna see a bunch of my friends because i'm still gonna take next week off work so at least you know i'll still get a break i'll still get to rest um and i'll make that like a separate vlog because this vlog was just supposed to be like a a somewhat prep for vacation kind of thing also take in i still didn't even get my eyebrows done so <laughs> my friend she does like sugaring so last resort i was just gonna let her like do my brows but like 
um yeah anyways of course you know i love to push things to the last minute anyways it's fine we move i'm gonna go to the gym right now because my mom woke me up because she came in my room looking for my stupid perfume because you're a thief she even puts it back in the right place um and yeah now i'm awake so i'm gonna go to the gym Ugh. this is my ot outfit of the gym o o f g outfit for no <laughs> o o outfit for the gym so o f t g oh t-shirt from the weekend's concert Back of shorts from Old Navy. Simple shit. T-shirt and shorts. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. Alright, let's go. <laughs> 